Evening Vantage, hope you're having a good Friday night. So we're reading today from a book called Matthew. So this is a book written about Jesus' life by one of his disciples called Matthew. And in this book, in chapter 5, verses 43 to 44, it says, You have heard that it was said, Love your neighbour and hate your enemies. But I say to you, love your enemies, pray for those who hurt you. Now your immediate thoughts might be, I don't have any enemies. Or that's that's a putting a bit harshly about other people or maybe it's well I don't really like my the person who lives next door to me is that my neighbor um, or you might not feel like you love them the way that you love your friends but let's look at what this verse really means who is it talking about and what does it mean to love the people our enemies that sounds something really hard to do so first of all let's look at the people in this now it's telling us to love our neighbor and love our enemy. So our neighbour is not just talking about the person who lives next door to us, but when this verse was written back in the Old Testament, it's talking about the people who lived around them. So for us, it's the people we come into contact with, the people who are in our lives, the people that we love, the people that we don't like, the people that we meet, everybody around us. And then our enemies, maybe somebody does spring to mind that you don't particularly like or hurts you. Or maybe you just feel that there isn't anyone one person but we all have people we find it harder to like or don't get on with so much or um, people that we find it harder to want the best for in other words Jesus is talking about everyone everyone around you that you like or don't like Jesus is saying love everyone now that isn't easy is it to love the people who hurt you who get mad at you even to love the people who are just quite negative um, and our natural instinct might be to get angry with the people who hurt us and want to get back at them. And Jesus is saying to show love. So we know it's talking about everyone, but what does this mean by to love everyone? Let's look at that word, because normally most people will think of love as the emotion that they feel they love someone. When you think about somebody, when you're friends, you really love them because they're, they, they're kind to you or your, um, your family members who you get on really well with. But it's not talking about a feeling here. We're talking about act actions, showing people love through the way that we are. And in 1 Corinthians verse 13, it spells out to us what love is. So let's have a look what it says about that in the Bible. It says, love is patient and kind, not jealous. It does not brag and is not proud. Love is not rude or selfish and does not get upset with others. Love does not count up wrongs that have been done. In other words, keeps no grudges. Love takes no pleasure in evil, but rejoices over the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always endures. And it also tells us in the Bible that God is love. So God is all of those things. And that's quite hard to do, isn't it? To love, to, to do all of those things, to show all of those things, patience and kindness and not hold grudges to particular people we know in our lives. And it, it really means going the extra mile for people, going out of your way to show kindness to those people. Because Jesus did that. He loved us without limits. You might feel that there are certain people in your life who do not deserve kindness or patience or constant forgiveness, not holding things against them. But Jesus has set us an example to follow. We don't deserve his love. We didn't deserve to have him die for, our, for everything we've done wrong. But he did, and he sets the example for us, just as it says in the Bible that God is love. We need to take those every conflict we get, or the little things that happen that, that hurt us, they're all opportunities to show God's love, to show love, to show patience, to show kindness. Not necessarily to somebody you consider as an enemy, but it might be somebody at home who usually you get on with and you've fallen out or they've hurt you. All of those moments are opportunities to show God's love. We might not feel they deserve it, but neither do we. And we shouldn't withhold God's love from people when we have been given it so freely. So it's not about feeling that feeling of love to somebody. And it's not always someone um, that hurts you. Like I said, it could be just somebody who's gotten on your nerves. Those moments to us, we need to follow Jesus' example and command to love them. And it's not easy, like we said, but one way that can help you do this is to picture how God sees that person. How does God view that person? Does God see them as all their flaws and the annoying things they do and the things that you view as negative? Or does God see them maybe as, well, actually sometimes that thing you think is a weakness might be turned into a strength? Um, and God loves them all equally. He and the Bible tells us that later, the next verse, 
in these verses in Matthew, Matthew we've been looking at. Verse 45, Jesus said, He causes the sun to rise on good people and on evil, and he sends rain to those who do right and to those who do wrong. So think about that. We all see the sunrise. We are all equally treated by God. He sends equal measure of love to all of us and he treats us evenly. And that's what we need to do as well. No matter how hard it is, we need it's our job to love as compassionately and extravagantly as God did, as God does. And we, we won't always do very, very good at it, definitely not. But we can try and we can keep changing. And every day we get more opportunities and new opportunities to love people the way that Jesus loves us and to show people his love, even when we don't feel it. So who are you going to choose to show love to this evening, tomorrow, next week? Who can you show Jesus love to even when you really don't want to? Rely on God and his strength for you to show that love to them.